Yes, Uncle Chad. Oi, hoi, Uncle Chad again. And you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this. Well, it's a bit cold. That's the only explanation I've got. <laughs> I don't really have another beanie that I can find lying around here at the moment. I put them all somewhere. Anywho, uh, I want to talk about this talk today, about four or five hours ago, about a new Power Rangers movie sequel with Hasbro. Holy shit. I mean, just the fact that they're talking about it means that something is happening behind the scenes, which is great. I was a bit concerned. I mean, it hasn't been too long since um, they purchased Power Rangers in full from Saban for like just $522 million or something. Like, that's not a lot of money, really, for a property. Well... A lie. I mean, that that is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, half a billion dollars. And, um, considering Power Rangers hasn't been as big as it was in the 90s. Um, you think in 93, 94, 95 ish? Uh, it hasn't been as big since. It's still a household name, and they've been milking the traditional team type for decades now like 25 years now I think it is um, and they're still in the the, uh, the zeitgeist you know parentages have stuck around ever since there's like 25 26 odd seasons now a lot it hasn't stopped you know um, and I, I was disappointed at the previous film uh, not not by the movie I actually really enjoyed it uh, thoroughly I saw it a few times at the movies and I bought the blu-ray I was all in. I was I was surprised at how how mature they allowed it to get. Like I I realized about halfway through the film where I was like, what kind of movie am I watching? <laughs> like it just occurred to me about halfway through. I was like, oh, this is a this is a Power Rangers film. I spent most of it for the majority of the time just engrossed in the movie. Uh, I forgot it was a Power Rangers film for a bit. I was just enjoying the kids and the characters and what was happening, you know, and the relationships and the theme and the tone. I don't know, I just really, really liked it. Um, not a big fan of the Zord designs, uh, you know, really. I thought the Megazord was, when they formed the Megazord, it looked really underwhelming. I don't know. Like, when you go back and watch the first season, uh, the original Dino Megazord, like it's just this big, you know, hulking kind of, it just looks like, powerful, you know, um, particularly how they draw it in the comics now, Dream Studios, uh, just like, you know, really big mecha hands and like huge build and just looks imposing, um, that's what I was hoping for, but instead we got like this lanky kind of Megazord, I don't know, that, I'm, I'm focused on hating the Megazord, but it just really bothered me. <laughs> uh, and we never really got a transformation sequence, like traditionally, where they all come together. It was, it was more like they just conveniently melted together, you know? I don't know, I didn't like that as much. But overall, the suits, suits were awesome. I'm a big fan of the suits, the tone of the film, the world that they built. They took it far more seriously than I thought they were going to. Um, like they kind of just took it back, but then pushed it up a level. Uh, yeah, I really dug it, man. The, the, um, there was that fan film that was out uh, a year or so before the movie came out. I think took it away too far. You know, the tits and gore and stuff. Don't mind the tits so much, but like, I think like a real hard R rated or MA parody this film was a bit too far. But if you look at the um, Lord Dracon video, uh, the trailer thing about the Shattered Dimensions, or the Shattered Grid, Shattered Dimensions, god damn it, the Shattered Grid um, story arc that they just uh, went through uh, with Boom Studios, they did a trailer with Jason David Frank, who still hasn't uh, unblocked me yet on Instagram by the way, uh, and that was kind of more serious as well. Uh, the Power Rangers, as campy as the property is, if you take it seriously, it's actually quite badass. Like, it has such a a, a vast lore at attached to the property. 
like science fiction you know like if you do it really well it could lend itself to something quite awesome and um i think they were just just touching on it um so i'm just gonna flick over to this article um that's screen rant here um hang on let me just resize this window a tad yeah so you can see um obviously has Ro. they're still in talks and developing the sequel it's nowhere near anywhere being released like i i read the article and they're reporting that they haven't even started uh, any kind of production on it but they're heavily talking about it um so the movie this one grossed about 142 million dollars uh i think reportedly 110 million dollar budget don't quote me on that this is from memory i don't even think they've mentioned it here in the article uh, but yeah um it says here the disappointing box office true like it just barely made its money back i think they made a pretty decent chunk of money out of the merchandise and toys which has been basically keeping the franchise afloat over the decades um but i mean for hasbro to kind of take note of power rangers and buy it i mean hasbro they're not short of money uh just the money that they would have milked out of the transformers michael bay films the billions of dollars that it made um buying power rangers uh and everything that comes with it for just over half a billion um i do think they'll make their money back if they treat this right i really do um i believe in power rangers I'm not like the biggest fan of the TV shows, like every season. I'm not a fan of all of them. Um, but when I'm into a season, I'm fully into it. Uh, I just hope, like some of these actors have moved on, obviously. Um, I think they had some stories put in their heads about fame and stardom and um, everything that's going to come with that. The new, like, they were coming out the gate that saying there's going to be six or seven movies of this massive arc uh you know they're shooting themselves on the foot a bit there coming out the gate saying so but i mean that was a trend at the time like marvel's like yeah look at our slate bam 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 dc's like look at all the films we're making and i think saban brands and um whoever they were going through at the time i can't remember um lionsgate is it lionsgate yeah uh we're like yeah we've got our franchise as well we've got all these films uh in the makes and i think these kids um who Dacre montgomery the red ranger is an aussie by the way uh that was his first big his first his first gig man like straight out of drama school apparently from western australia uh first gigs parentages and then he went on stranger things too uh, oh yeah, i kind of touched on that down here uh yeah doo -doo -doo -doo. i believe that the franchise sticking to the didn't turn a profit at the box office blah 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 uh naomi scott um who played kimberly in the movie uh, she's going to be in Disney's live-action Aladdin as Jasmine, which is fitting because I think she's part, like, Indian or something, or, you know, um, that, that, I don't know. Uh, I just read she's she's part something and part Indian, that kind of part of the world. So if they're going to start claiming whitewashing in that movie, uh, they can get stuff because she's got some of that heritage um, of that part of the world. Um and th i mean they were, they were hinting at green ranger coming in as well so we had all this set up and these kids i think they were like yes you know this is my meal ticket for the, the the next 10 years and it just didn't happen i don't know how it didn't happen um maybe i'm biased because i actually enjoyed the film but going into a sequel uh i do worry that they're gonna dumb down the budget some um I don't know if they mentioned that in this article. I can't remember. I, I skimmed through most of it, so I was just like, "Yep, I knew it. Yep, I know that." Yeah, blah blah blah. No, they don't really. They don't really mention anything about um, talking about budgets. Oh wait, a smaller budget could have helped the film turn a closer bit. Yeah, sequel needs to be better received critically. I agree. I don't believe that um, they should go for a smaller budget for a sequel because that just seems stupid. Um, this article and others that are reporting on it indicate that this will be a continuation of this one and i think that's smart i think you know if they want to try and cut some costs i mean those actors aren't um 
they don't ask for a massive pay packet you know they're not that big or they don't have the power to demand such a high pay so i mean that's one co cost cutting measure the other is to kind of not delve too much into the r d and development they've got a lot of the groundwork built already they've got the command center they've got zordon they've got alpha they've got the zords which i hope they just improve on they've got the suits which they might just upgrade a bit um, all of that groundwork is done so that's less time wasted less production wasted on doing that there are ways that they can move forward without starting from scratch because if they start from scratch I mean, that's just going to cost more money um, so I think moving in the same direction with this film is a smart idea I, and I think it did well enough that people coming back would be like oh so they are doing a second one okay I'll be interested to come back maybe uh, I think one of the main criticisms was there wasn't enough action um, that we expected from a Power Rangers film it was very dramatic there's a lot of drama in it and um, build up you know and I think like the last 20 minutes half an hour was like an episode <laughs> you know the last 20 minutes to, an, oh, to half an hour felt like an episode of the show you know and, and we didn't get a lot of fighting like with the rangers they were just training you know building up their skills getting used to the idea that they're power rangers which you know it's an origin film and I, like going out of that I don't know what everybody else expected like fair enough in the show they wrote it in so all these kids were training at school in you know martial arts and stuff so they already knew how to fight and defend themselves and it was just the suits that gave them the extra powers um, whereas this iteration and many of the other series never really followed suit a lot of the series where like they are just kids or they they did just work at a burger joint or a museum you know or something you know um, they were just kids that they weren't fighters and then they learned to be fighters throughout the show so it wasn't always like that so um, I don't understand those criticisms either but they don't they obviously didn't know all that knowledge uh, look I'm excited for the sequel um, I don't know what to expect from it if they do try and follow through with some of the promises that were leading into the sequel like Tommy Oliver you know the the end after credit scene where the teacher's reading out Tommy Oliver like the Green Ranger's name constantly as like a oh my god yeah, the Tommy me so yeah I don't know by the time this finishes are these actors going to be still old enough to pass as teenage kids <laughs> You know they were they were kind of verging on um getting looking like they're a bit too old for the roles uh Dacre montgomery moving on to stranger things you know maybe hopefully he becomes available for it um and yeah i don't know it depends on how aladdin goes as well where the name is scott gets a bit too big after that who knows but i don't know these are just ideas mewling in my head that i wanted to kind of start a discussion on well what do you think those of you did you like that film did you like that power rangers film would you go back for a second round for a sequel i know i sure as hell would um oh what, was i cut off oh, no i was just on the edge there um would you go back for another one another round i mean I, i'm super keen um i just you know i just hope they kind of learn from their mistakes on this one and um just try not to try not to make it too dramatic like, let's have fun with this one give us more of one of the darker episodes from the show <laughs> you know like that some of the episodes that were really cool was when jason was you know fighting goldar in the dark dimension you know that kind of shit where it's just like epic stuff if you go back and watch it it's cheesy as hell but it's like it's just the moments of the show is iconic you know go back and do that kind of stuff and just make it badass it can be done i'm super excited i know this is probably a two years or so away but um at least this is i'm happy to know that they're talking about it and it's a possibility and it's happening they're not just buying the property and just shoehorning it for another 10 years you know uh anyway yeah let me know what you think um i'm gonna go and uh, put something warm on and um i like my i like my beanie thing